Hello friends, welcome to my channel. It's Becca here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I am finding you healthy and safe and in good spirits and ready to shop my stash with me. Today I wanted to go ahead and kind of shop my stash looking for my favorite neutral palettes. If that sounds fun to you, just keep on watching. So I know it's not the fanciest storage technique, but this is how I do it. I have about half of my palettes in this BoxyCharm box and the other half in a little crate because they have different shapes. These are the ones that fit nice and just in a line like this. So going through here, there's a couple that are pretty obvious choices, I, at least for me. I have the Naked 3. I love, love, love that one. The original Naked palette is another beautiful neutral palette. Then we have a lot of colorful ones. And then the next one that stands out to me as a really nice neutral palette is the Golden Palette. That first box was nice and neat because all the palettes were about the same size and shape, but this one's a little bit more intimidating. We have all different sizes and shapes and dimensions here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of try to look through here, see if we can kind of dig in here. I think there's not very many neutral palettes. This might be one of the only ones in here. There we go. And then this one here, the Novo Neutrals from BH Cosmetics is another really nice one. Let's see if there's anything else in here that jumps out as a neutral palette. What is this? Oh, definitely not. Okay, I think that's about it. So we're gonna just go ahead and take a look at these. Here are the neutral palettes that I was able to find with just that little quick search through of my palette collection. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna go through one by one, just looking at the colors on the inside and talking about what ones are my favorite and why I like each one. Of course, I did grab the ones off of my vanity, the Soft Natural from C Color Cosmetics, and the Bare Necessities from ColourPop. I'm going to start off by talking about the one I had the longest, which is this one here, the BH Cosmetics Novo Neutrals palette. I've actually got this on a sale at BH Cosmetics a long time ago for 50% off, and then the next order they gave me a free one, so I was able to give it to a friend. So you may be able to look back and see I had a lot of videos talking about this palette. I have definitely changed my techniques and how to video and everything, but I thought it was a really fun palette. I had a lot of fun with it. And you can see there's a great range of colors here. We have rosy neutrals, kind of plummy neutrals, corals, golds, browns, and then all these blushes here, which I also used as eyeshadows as the need struck me. It's been a while since I've played with this palette, but every time I swatch it, I just get excited all over again because the shimmers are so buttery and smooth and the mattes are just so nice. I just need to pull this palette out and use it. It just gets stuck in the back of my little drawer and boxes and everything just because it's so big and bulky, but I haven't decluttered it yet and it's still hanging on strong. The next palette in no particular order that I want to talk about is this Milani Most Loved Mattes palette. It is a gorgeous 12 pan matte all matte eyeshadow palette it's got very neutral row a very plummy row and then kind of a more warm row here so it's one of those that are really easy to use and just pick up and make a look i don't use this one very often and definitely not by itself because i'm one of those gals that loves a shimmer on the lid but the quality is definitely there and i have not gotten rid of it out of my collection because of that Like a lot of matte palettes, it does not swatch the best, and I was debating even sharing the swatches, but they are pretty true to the color, if not the performance of how they act on the eyes. But I do love this palette, and I pull it out from time to time, especially when I want those purples. I love purple. If you've been watching my recent makeup hauls, you may remember that I did get a couple of other Milani palettes, and one of them was the Soft and Sultry palette, which is, of course, also a gorgeous neutral palette. I'm not including that in this collection here because I have not opened it and started using it just yet. And I'm only looking through palettes that I've opened and started using. The next two I wanna talk about are the Urban Decay Naked and Naked 3 palettes. I never did get the Naked 2 and both of these are second hand, so they are definitely well loved. But I just love these color stories in here, especially the Naked 3 one. It's got these beautiful rosy tones and the grays. So I just love these. And while I don't use them as much currently because I'm always trying out new stuff, 
I can never part with them because I just know they make such beautiful looks and I love them so much. I remember when the original Naked palette came out. I didn't get it until several years later, but I just remember loving it so, so much and thinking it was just so beautiful. I did go through several drugstore edition palettes of this color story because at the time I definitely could not afford a high-end palette. So I remember using a hard candy neutrals palette that was kind of similar to this and another um, a physician's formula shimmer strip palette that was kind of similar to this but there's just nothing that compares to the original naked palette If you've been with me for a few videos, then you know that this palette is exactly up my alley. It's got those soft pinks, it's got those kind of lavender undertones and some of those mattes and neutrals. It is just gorgeous and I love it. And I know it's been duped just like the Naked One has over and over, but there's just something really special about having the original. Next in my collection are these two C Color Cosmetics palettes, and they are dupes of more high-end palettes. This one here is a dupe of the Too Faced Natural Eyes, I believe it's called, and then this one here is a dupe of Natasha Denona Gold palette. And I know this one does have a couple of pops of color in there, but I really mostly use it for the neutrals because I don't have anything like this in the rest of my collection with these golden undertone neutrals. First, this little C-Color Soft Natural palette. It is just a nine pan palette. It has three large shades and then six smaller shades. And it basically has everything that you would need to complete a look. And I also use this as a supplemental palette for any palette in my collection that doesn't have one of the shades that I would need for a look, such as a matte transition shade or a matte ivory or a couple of, or a lid shimmer shade or a deep outer corner shade. This has everything and it's in a lot of different tones. We have mostly neutrals, but we have a couple of rosy warm ones and a cool tone here. So it basically can fill in gaps for just about anything. And I really love it. Plus it smells like coconut. Some of these mattes don't swatch the greatest, as you probably could have seen, but I've never had any issues with applying them to my eyes. And the other C Color Neutral palette that I am so excited to have in my collection is this Golden palette. It is a dupe of the Natasha Denona Gold palette. It does have those two teal colors in there, but I almost never use the teal, and I always reach for this when I'm wanting those beautiful, warm, honey kind of neutrals, and I did use this to kind of satisfy my need for the Naked Honey palette, though at some point when this the economy is going back to normal, I may try to pick up that Honey palette. If it goes on sale or if C Color makes a dupe of it, you bet I'm gonna grab it. And of course, the last neutral palette that I wanted to point out that I love that's in my collection is the ColourPop Bare Necessities palette. This one here, like the C Color Soft Natural palette, this one is like the daddy version of it. It has an expanded collection of all the neutrals that you could possibly want, all the light shimmer shades for the lids, all the transition shades, all the deep outer corner shades. It's just got everything in all the different tones you could want cool tone, warm tone, neutral tones. We got some berries, we got some golds, we got some grays. I just love this so much. But as much fun as I've been having with swatching all the other palettes, this one is a bit overwhelming and I don't think I'm gonna swatch every shade in here, but I will give you kind of an up close so you can just see how gorgeous all these colors are. There we go. And there you have it. These are my top neutral palettes in my collection right now. I'm curious to know what your favorite neutral palettes in your collection are, or out of this collection, what is your favorite neutral palette that I have? And I want to thank you so much for hanging around, sticking out to the end. And I hope I'm finding you safe and in good spirits. And let me know what kind of shop my stash you'd like to see next, because I would love to hear from you. I love chatting with you guys in the comments. And I hope I see you all in the next one. Bye!